Tin fans, today I have one of my own creations to show you, just in time for Easter, as I'm sure you're aware that's coming, considering all the hot cross buns and Easter eggs all through the shops already. So watch this one and I hope you love it as much as I do. So get yourself some eggs, I'm going to use three. And I'm going to heat up a needle just to sterilise it because I do want to use the yolks in a cake later. I mean if you're not worried about that, don't worry about sterilising your needles. But um, now I'm just going to pin, put the pin through the end of the egg so I can blow the yolk and the white out because I want a hollow egg for this project. So that's one hole. Now I'm going to do the other side. You want the small hole to be on the small end of the egg and a bigger hole on the uh, large side of the egg. So here I'm just going to use something a bit larger to try and hammer it out just that little bit more. And blow, and blow, and keep on blowing until you blow that whole egg out. You might want to make the hole in the bottom a little bit bigger if it's too hard. It is a bit disgusting. Uh, here I have some LEDs left over from Christmas. And we're going to fit the bottom, uh, an LED into the bottom of the egg. If it's not big enough, just make the hole a little bit bigger. The bigger the hole, the easier the LED will go in. So I just stick it right up in there and I'll show you what it looks like. Isn't that just beautiful? I mean look at all those, like not colours but you know the, the dots through, shining through the egg, it's amazing. I'm just going to use gloss, medium and varnish. It does have to be gloss, medium and varnish. Uh, if it's not then it won't work. Now I'm going to put some text onto the egg, but with the text uh, it does need to be printed in reverse. Don't print it the right way around, otherwise it will go on the egg in reverse. You want it on the egg in a way that you can read it. So once I've got all my pictures and my text, I'm going to get ready to put it on the egg. So just pour just a couple of drops onto the egg and rub it around on the surface where you're going to be placing the picture that you want onto your egg. Once you've done that, just create your picture, find the position for it, and we're going to rub it gently to try and get all the air holes out, and we're going to push it on into place. Just remember, try not to push too hard. We don't want to crack that egg, and try and get all the edges. It is going to crinkle up a little bit, but it shouldn't affect the end result. There we go. I'm just going to use a hair dryer to try and speed up the process of the drying, but you can just leave it to air dry if you want to. I had a crazy idea that I could put them into like a nest thing and use the hair dryer that way. Then I could do all three at once, but oops, yeah, I had to do that one again. So now I'm just going to put them into a water bath, now that they're dry, just to soak the paper. Now the paper will just float face down because that's the heaviest side of the egg. And we're just going to rub gently, not too hard, to try and get the paper off. But we don't want to rub the picture off that's underneath, so we do need to be gentle here. You can be a little bit rougher at the start, but as you're getting closer and closer through the layers of paper there, you do need to start rubbing a little bit more softly. You'll find that the bits of paper that are coming off act as an exfoliant kind of thing, so that when you are rubbing, the rolls of paper under your fingers actually help you get the rest of the paper off. I did rub a little bit off on the bottom there, you can see where the shoulder is, but uh, that's not the main part of the picture, so it's not really going to matter. I'm not too worried about that. So just keep rubbing. Don't worry if you can't get all the paper off, I'll show you how to fix that problem in a minute. Now if it's starting to get a little bit dry, just add some more water and just very gently, just gently rub your finger over. And we 
is starting to get somewhere here. You can see that's all starting to come off. There we go. Now we do need to let that dry before I can show you what happens next. This is a Duro floor sealer and varnish. It's a water-based floor sealer. I'm just going to put this on over the top and you can see where the paper, it looks really dry and quite disgusting when you start, but this will actually prevent the paper look from showing. It's quite incredible how it happens actually. I'm pretty sure any other water-based floor varnish will work, so you can give that a go. But um, I use Agar Duro. Since it's water-based, it does dry pretty quick. You can see there, you can't really see that horrible paper look, and here it is dry. It's looking pretty good. And you can't see any white paper. Here's one where you can really see the white paper has dried there, and it looks pretty gross, so I'm gonna do it to this one too. Of course, I do it to all of them. So we'll just rub it all over. You can still see where the white paper is when it's wet but we'll dry this off again and you'll see that it'll be perfectly clear and you won't have that horrible white paper look. There we go. Perfect. Just repeat that for all three or however many you are doing. And then we're going to get ready to put them into the LED lights. I'm just going to stick the lights up through all of them just to get an idea of how they're going to look. I'm going to place them onto a tray and then decorate around the tray to make it look really nice for Easter. Of course, it doesn't have to be for Easter. You could do this for any time that you like, any holiday or just for decoration purposes, anything that suits you. And of course, you can put any pictures you want. There we go, they light up. You can see with all three eggs, they actually all look really different. None of them are the same. They're slightly different in colour, slightly different in thickness, and this is the tray that I set up. So I just sticky taped the LEDs down onto the tray just so they wouldn't shift. Then I stuck the eggs back over the LED lights and then decorated around the tray just to make it look pretty for Easter. So that's the final project complete. I'm actually quite proud of it myself. And I'm sure that if you do this project too, you'll be quite happy with the results. These are actually my daughters, two of them anyway. Um, I did do a third, but unfortunately I cracked that egg. So you do need to be aware that you can accidentally crack the egg while you're working on it. You may need some spares. But all in all, I think it turned out quite well. Thank you for watching. I hope you have as much success as I did.